On the table, do you know who Monkey Kid is? Can you tell me about it? Because I really don't know much about Monkey Kid yet. Hey everybody, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede, and today we have the new LEGO Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian set to build. Monkey Kid is kind of hard to know about. We don't see too much here in the United States about it. I can't find the show very well, only on YouTube, a couple pirated episodes, and they're all kind of muddy and gross. I'd like to see the series. It looks really interesting. I believe we are now on season two. These are the season two sets. I found a cool middle ground set where it had a lot of interesting features of everything you'd want to see. So let's construct this and learn as best as we can about Monkey Kid. Oh, hey, Landry. How's it going? Pretty good. Oh, hey, I really like your new squirrel guardian. Squirrel guardian? Oh, no, no, no. It's a lion guardian. I don't know. Just look at its tail. <laughs> yeah, total squirrel guardian. You're a lucky guy, monkey kid. He doesn't think you're an acorn. Well, see you later. Acorn? Ah! Squirrel stampede. Squirrel million. Approved. On the table, we're back with Monkey Kid. Set number 80021, Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian. 774 pieces with Monkey Kid, of course, versus the Spider Queen. And we've got Lou, May, and a Huntsman here, too. On the back of the box, several colorful things going on. Feels like a good balance of good versus evil. Inside the box, book one of instructions, book two of instructions, nice and stout, a sheet of stickers, and two very reflective flags, maybe a cape. Bag one of pieces, bag two, three, four, five, and six, six bags of pieces to build. Let's get to these before Midas turns them to squirrel. It's time to build the lion guardians of Kids of Monkey.
and constructed we have Monkey Kids Lion Guardian. <laughs> How very impressive. This is a great multi-character pack. I think the perfect balance of all the Season 2 Monkey Kids sets. Are we on Season 2 now? I'm really only on Season 1 right now. I've only seen a couple episodes. I'm guessing that this Spider Queen thing is a Season 2 thing, and she's pretty impressive. There's also a buildable arcade back here and several characters to meet, like Monkey Kid. Hey! And May. Hi! The Huntsman. Ugh. And I think Lou is back there dancing. I am! So plenty of things to do with this set. Let's just start right off with the best part. Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian. <laughs> oh no! Okay, okay, so while the Spider Queen is distracted at the arcade, let's look at the Lion Guardian. Almost like a Dragon Lion Guardian, pretty fun to build, with lots of highlighting reds and yellows, and most importantly, those shiny gold, chrome gold pieces throughout. They really stand out on this lion. Lots of articulation on the lion, we've got back hips that move, and shoulders, and then ball joint ankles. Just enough to get your line in many positions, and the tail has a few spots of articulation too. Look at all these cool little things coming off that tail too. Very decorative. Decorative. A decorative. 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 I can't say that word. The shoulder weaponry is pretty cool too. Push in these plungers and it opens up the white discs on the front nice and slowly. And then we have the ability to shoot a pin needle dart projectile out the front. It's going to be a while to find. Why do I always do that? and then close them back up. There are a couple pretend shots in there too. Looks really nice. As for the main action feature of your Lion Guardian, we have opening and closing mouth. During build, I didn't know what was happening because the bottom mouth was just swinging back and forth. But once you hook it up, there's a lever kind of on the back here that you just kind of push back and forth and he opens and closes pretty tightly. Ow! So be careful there. And it's not that tight, but it works really well. It's such a nice mechanism. And there it is from the backside. Look at these metallic gold flags too, aren't those pretty? Those are really nice little extra to this. A few sticker elements here, again with the shiny gold brick. You don't see the shiny gold brick very often, so it's kind of neat to see on the Lion Guardian. There are several spots here. There's one in the back here, there's some vents, and uh, where was another piece that looked really good? Oh yeah, up here on the head. There's some nice bricks here, and then some of these cool panels by the feet. They just look so cool on the Lion Guardian. So yeah, a really good bounce of Monkey Kid fun with this set. So checking out the Spider Queen now. <laughs> there she is, you don't want to touch her too much, it's kind of scary. Again, that's what makes this set so cool, is you get both great representations of the hero and villain. Now there is a very nice fancy Spider Queen's arachnoid base out there. I'm tempted to build that. That thing looks amazing. I guess it just depends on how popular Monkey Kid continues to be. Uh, these sets are a little more expensive, so I don't always want to go with them, but they are so cool. So we have movable legs. I guess this Spider Queen is more like a spider bug, because she only has six legs instead of eight. We have got a couple dart projectiles that you can shoot out. They almost sub in as little fangs or eyes of the spider. And there's our Spider Queen. She's removable from the top there. Let's take her off this spider. Maybe take her down a size a little bit by removing this spider. Ugh, such a creepy piece. And there she is. This is such an exceptional villain minifigure. Look at her. There's so much shiny detail to her. That helmet, that spider helmet hat piece, great. Her staff of Spidera also has a really nice metallic cape piece going on too. This one in silver versus the gold on the Lion Guardian. Just a great looking piece on here. Where's Monkey Kid up close? There's Monkey Kid with his powerful staff. Monkey Kid has two faces this time. Right now I've got kind of a basic face and I think we can switch it over to... Uh, this must be like his monkey kid possessed face. I hope to figure out more about this show someday. He truly is an awesome hero toy. There's May again. May's got her jade dragon, some sort of weaponry thing going. If I recall from the container ship, she kind of was like a Power Ranger like thing. And there's the figure from the container ship. That's more of her sword jade weapon. This weapon only has the dragon handle for some reason. It's kind of funny, the bio on lego.com indicates she has the full dragon sword and I don't see it, so well there it is. But she was a great figure too. All the little details on these are so cool. Then of course we've got the Huntsman. Oops, sorry me. Huntsman, kind of like a Huntsman spider I suppose, kind of a really creepy 
looking guy with extra eyes. Ah, you know, he could probably go to Keeper's Village and live with those purple guys from the new Ninjago season. Interesting. And a couple more here we've got. Lou is here. I'm wondering if she's just a city bystander or is she actually part of the series? I can't remember or even know because again, I've only seen two episodes. Nice to have kind of like someone to save. And then there's this really creepy spider accessory too that goes along with the queen. A little drone bug thing, again with six legs for a spider. Where's those extra legs? And finally, a nice little arcade place to hang out in. This is the extra little feature I think that really sets this set off and makes it amazing is now we have a little area of the city to protect. Ant gravity, anti, I think it's anti-gravity is the place. We've got a dance arcade over here and that's where Lou is hanging out, dancing around. And then on this side, we kind of have a working claw machine. We can move this lever a little bit. Um, I'd probably to put too many statues in. It actually only indicates to put three statues in, but I had four statues and I just had fun filling it up and now I realize maybe I put too many statues in there. But that's a nice little piece. You can close up your shop and uh, display how you want. It reminded me so much of Lego Ninjago City Gardens build. This took about the same amount of time to build as many of the pods and containers of the city. There's so much detail and, and the sticker work too was a little difficult takes a while to place all these panels straight. So yeah, it felt like I was back at City Gardens again with this little build. That little section taking much longer to build than I thought it would. But the best part of this set, of course, belongs to the Lion Guardian. What a build. What a very interesting build. It feels like I haven't done something like this before. I think that's what's kind of fun about Monkey Kid. It has its own really nice, unique theme. And I see a brick that's out of place. Is everybody okay? It might have popped out while moving these, uh, shoulders around. I can see a spot where it would hit. And then place your Monkey Kid character up top. Hmm, I wonder if there's a spot somewhere to clip this in. There usually is. I haven't really found it yet. I guess Monkey Kid could hold on to it. Might be able to slide it back here somehow. There's several spots to place characters, but there's kind of bricks in the way of the studs to hold them, so you might have to remove them. I just can't stop appreciating all the detail, all the interesting work they did with this one. Very interesting. Oh, I can still move my mouth even though I placed the staff in there. Oh no, it's kind of jamming him up. Ah! And then all those gold, flashy gold pieces again. Really highlight this amazing build. As for other sets to look for, as we can see on the back of the instruction booklet number two here, I almost originally went with Monkey Kid's uh, Team Quadcopter uh, set here. It's huge looking. I think that would be also really fun. It comes with more containers. I love that idea for the container uh, headquarters ship, all these containers to work and build on. So that would be something I might, might go with in the future. I'm not sure, but then Spider Queen's Arachnoid Base. I mean, that thing is crazy cool. Total freaky on that. It's just one giant spider with the queen on top. Very like old school science fiction-y. And then there's this huge rock fall base. What is this thing called? The Legendary Flower Fruit Mountain. That's pretty crazy. I would love to build that. It's probably going to be a little too big for what I know about Monkey Kid. I would love to sit it next to Jestro's Volcanic Lair. It would be kind of like the good mountain versus the bad mountain type of thing. But for now, Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian is the perfect balance set, I would say, in Season 2, the second series of Monkey Kid sets. You get a little bit of everything that you need to enjoy Monkey Kid and play around. So far, I believe these are typically not sold in U.S. stores like Target and Walmart. I picked this set up off of Lego.com, and I believe all the Lego shops probably carry Monkey Kid product, right? You'll have to let me know in the comments if that's right. It's really interesting how this show is not really marketed at all to the United States. Looking for episodes, all I can really find are pirated episodes on YouTube. I can't really find where the official show is. It looks really kind of fun and interesting. I would like to watch more, so I guess I just have to keep looking around a little bit. And there we go with Lego Monkey Kids Lion Guardian. Great set to build, lots of interesting features with this one. I just need to learn a little more about Monkey Kid, really seek and search out these episodes. They truly are an interesting, interesting show to look for. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squunky, I mean a squament, so that we can talk all about these great new sets. Thanks for watching, that's what I have to say about that.